What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna start a series of videos rebuilding the bumper on my 15 F-150. Right now, we got the stock bumper. I always wanted a aftermarket bumper on there. A long time ago, I had a 2008 F-150 that I ended up hitting something with that truck on the bumper and it dented it. So I decided to rebuild it. It actually came out pretty nice. It was pretty cool looking. I got a lot of compliments on it. My welds didn't look the greatest. If you've seen my other videos, you know I'm not that great at welding, but we're gonna practice. We're gonna get better. We're gonna custom build a bumper for the front of my truck. It's going to be painted. It's gonna have a skid plate. We're gonna put LED lights on it. All that cool stuff. Right now, we're about to go pick up the metal that we need to build this bumper. And then when we get back, we're gonna be taking off and disassembling the front of the truck to remove the stock front bumper. So, let's go to the yard to pick up our metal. So we're here at the yard store here in Wichita, uh, downtown Wichita. It's like right next to Old Town. If you need anything as far as materials for like steel, metal, tubing, sheet metal, aluminum, anything, this is the place to get it around Wichita. They got just a huge selection of sheet metal. And we're gonna go in there and we're gonna grab thinking like maybe eight to 10 millimeters thickness. I don't know, but I'm gonna go in there and find it. I will be right back. That is a sheet load of steel. Not really, it's just one sheet. But that's what we're gonna turn into a bumper. It's heavy stuff. the same size as a piece of sheetrock but it is about five times as heavy as a piece of sheetrock so i'm gonna have to move my bike out of the way probably set some boards over there on the ground so it's not laying flat on the ground and we can get our hands underneath it and then i gotta go find a table so we can put it up on the table so we can do our cuts and everything so i gotta figure out get this out of the truck move the bike set up a table and then I gotta go wash the truck cause it's really dirty. And I'd rather wash it before I pull off the bumper cause I don't wanna pull the bumper off if it's super dirty. <music> so we got our table set up. I actually had to use my workbench that was sitting against that wall where the dirt bike is and I uh, took the back side off of it so that we have a flat surface. And now we got a place for our sheet metal for our cutting and everything that we're gonna be doing when we get to that part. So we got our metal. I went and picked up two more rolls of welding wire, Harbor Freight Special. And we got whatever's left in the welder at the moment. So now we're gonna get started. Removing the bumper off the front of the truck. So now we got the grill off of there. Basically to get the grill off, there's just a bunch of clips on top that you gotta take out. These 10 millimeter bolts up here. And then you also got two eight millimeter bolts that come out of here. Now we gotta uh, get this out of the way. 
we got some bolts down here we got to take out yeah i believe i believe the only bolts we have left are the ones holding on the bumper but we also got to disconnect our fog lights and and it ain't near as heavy as I thought it would be. The new one that we built out of this is probably gonna be much heavier. <laughs> I think this sheet of steel weighs like 300 pounds. It's pretty dang heavy. I'm not exaggerating, it's pretty, it's heavy. I watched the video, I think there's like only a, one other YouTube video that I that I found on YouTube of somebody building their own bumper. This guy, he he pretty much built the whole thing out of cardboard first, which is a good idea. And we could do that too, but I don't really want to go that route. And I don't have a whole lot of cardboard just laying around. I'm sure I could find a bunch, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm not going to use any cardboard. And we might use a little bit of cardboard for tracing purposes, but his bumper, he built one of those iron cross style bumpers. I don't really like those. I think they're really big and bulky and it kind of makes the truck look like it has an underbite or something. We're going to be building a pre-runner style bumper which isn't near as big and bulky as those iron cross bumpers or whatever they're called. I really never liked those things. They're just so freaking huge and just, they just stick off the truck like freaking way out here. But we're gonna do a pre-runner style and then I'm gonna order, I'll probably order some LED lights off Amazon and kind of try to find the best ones and then we're gonna integrate our LED uh, light bars into our bumper. Since it's getting late, that's gonna be it for today's episode. On the next one, we will be cutting out our pieces, putting them on the truck and start our welding. You might've noticed I'm in a different garage too. The reason I haven't made any videos lately is I sold my house and I had to move to a different house. And this garage is a little bit nicer because my truck actually fits in it. And I have like four feet of space in front of it. My other garage, I couldn't even get my truck in there because it wasn't deep enough. I'm kind of glad I moved because now I can actually do stuff to this truck when it's cold outside. It was impossible to work on this truck when it was cold as outside at my last house. And this house is a lot cheaper too, so. That's gonna be it. And I will catch you on the next one.